Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War of the Chosen campaign. Well, I'm trying to play as far as I can in Long War of the Chosen, Legendary Iron Man. Time for Operation Hidden Gasp, which is us trying to defend India without losing too many soldiers as part of that. We're potentially going to fight against either uh, the Assassin or more likely the Hunter. So let's see how this is going to go. Let's go. All right, we got a, another data breach. Hmm. What is up with you? Why do you have... Oh no, that's the data tab. And the data tab is already injured from, or hasn't really fully recovered from the last time. Hmm. Okay. That's not good. Location confirmed. Let's begin to move up because I assume the hunter will show up at some point. Might as well make sure that we do have the high ground. Well, shotgun might not be the best one for the high ground. Shankar here is not a fighter. They look more like a civilian. Uh, let's do second floor. Will do. Getting it done. More shotguns, okay. Can keep them down here. You're kidding me, right? Immediate trigger. Alright, let's use our flashbang. <laughs> Talking about bad luck, eh? Maybe we can explode the car. That would at least kill two of them. In the meantime, we finally can see our first Dreadnought, aka a Mac. Nice. Quick movement. And we're just going to go in. But not only that, 8.5 is here. So have no fear. The man with a plan returns. Let's push him all the way over there. Good. I was afraid that something like that might happen. Which is why I always try to move one person first. Before the entire batch moves. Good. This may or may not remove cover. Well, it did remove some. Target Let's give everybody here a little bit more movement. To 
sector that needs to go. Very good. Let's continue getting the Sidewinder. Okay, a little bit of damage, but not too much. Two, four, five left over. Perfect number for a mind melding. Divat. Uh, minimum damage. Too bad. Oh, we can't see our gunner. <laughs> Unfortunate. In which case, it's Diva again. Good. Pack destroyed. Ah, we're fighting against the hunter. Um, your ranged deals plus two damage to units with the lower hit points, better to hit chance, and you cannot really be hit by reaction fire. I appreciate that. There's a lot of hit points. Ouch. Oh, we got reaction fire. I like that. Might be able to heal that if we survive the round. We're hunkered. Okay, this guy is going to die. Okay, not bad. Do we have a healer? Yes, we do. And we do have Gremlin heal. So why not use it? Just getting them back up. I like it. Good double movement. Double movement. Double movement, as you would have guessed. A lot of double moves. Civilian moves out, okay. Good. Russ, I need you on a high ground, buddy. Somewhere over there would be great. Johnny is moving up and I think we're just going to give Russ that extra movement turn to get him into position. somewhat stay safe which is going to be not easy with the hunter going around so full cover let's take that overwatch shot
I like the idea of shotgun to the face. Let's place this down here. Sure thing. We're taking high ground and hopefully can finish the sector. 50-50 is a no-no. Moving up, hopefully soon into the smoke. Oh. We almost got him down. This time I'll try to focus on Advent a bit more and get them down. Good, we're starting with an obvious one, which is Gremlin healing. Gremlin, Just trying to keep as many of our rookies in the game as possible. And if they are full health, that means we have a much higher chance of not getting executed. That hit? No. Problem is, Chosen still has Overwatch. Moves to here. Okay, we could go to here and start taking that out. to here. I think we're just going to use uh, the shredder gun for now. I just decided it's time to shred a gun and overdrive because we're going to hit more.
I thought we are going to remove a little bit more cover. That is unfortunate. Charging in, fortification, and kill the F and purifier. Almost done. Okay, I'll go. Don't get so excited. Good. These guys are taken care of. Ghana begins to move forward. The question is now nah, we're going to take the central building high ground. Lots of double movements. Take this guy out. Oh, he's immune. Never mind. Overwatch here. Let's take out the zombie the old fashioned way. I don't want to move to not trigger the overboard shot. Ready to rock. Unfortunately, the overboard shot against the zombie would have been even worse. Almost on the rooftop. Question is, shall we move in further? All right, fifty fifty to kill this guy. Maybe a flash Not a problem. You know what, we do have suppression. It's not great, but the, the SMG really doesn't do a lot of uh, damage anyways. Of course, we're getting stasis. To deal with these advent the rest seems somewhat stable i mean yes the hunter sucks we all know that by now Produce high ground here, produce high ground there. Now yeah, we're still needing to move forward. It's okay that we're getting f uh, potentially flanked because we're going to kill all of them. Thank you. 
Good, Drangs could <coughs> move a little bit closer. How far is the flamethrower? to take all three of them. <clears throat> Good. Over here is the perfect position, which we will get by doing this. And that. And then that. One down, one burning, one still very much alive, unfortunately. What's over there? But we do have the perfect option against people in full cover. Psy, because that ignores full cover there we go good Diva kills him that means this pack is gone I'll save my last healing for my own uh, people which means we might see some kills over here now could have used a protocol to be fair all right let's crit him that was good. That was really good. It's almost a waste to use this grenade on him and not on the chosen. Do we some of the low hit point targets? flashbang that grenade wouldn't okay wouldn't reach far enough not having any further good options here I would say we're hunkering down with the ones that are so badly injured. Just making it more difficult to be hit. goes down that's good and that should be another kill uh, just in case someone comes from here I think we're keeping the scientist with us there and moving over here Hopefully be the last set of reinforcements that we're encountering.
Yeah. Didn't think they die that easy, did you, Commander? The priest is just a menace. I'll give you all sporting chance. The priest is such a menace. So for the starters, let's get that stupid Overwatch gone. Let's rescue this guy. <clears throat> okay, in an unconscious mode, it's not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> I should be going <coughs> as close to him as possible. This you could flank over there. For starters, let's get the mech up. <laughs> oh, whoa, that was a lot of damage. Nice. Even our resistance personnel with the shotguns can now help flank. Uh, idea was great. Execution like luster doesn't help us that we're seeing minimum damage Uh, just for clarification, the priest is very much still alive. I forgot about that one. Good, we'll get there. I should have flanked him instead. not going to take any chances here you eat a grenade and you will like it there shove it down your throat Six, eight, that should be a kill. Yay! Wonderful. No death from above. We move up here into a really good position. I want to think about that. Alright, sorry to take a short break here. So, we have left off with just two candidates. I need to go down. And not really a lot of good options here.
Moving a bit closer. Let's see if this kills him. Shotgun proximity bonus is always absolutely fantastic. You can very much count on those. Moves all the way up, we're going to go in next turn. And in the meantime, full cover for Synapse. So we've cleared all of the reinforcements. Uh, whom is he going to attack? Maybe our sniper, I don't, don't want that to happen. And let's get some extra kill experience. He was burning, so we're all good. Anyone else in dire need of support? No, I think we're fine. Let's for now hunker down so that we're not a good target for him either. Interesting choice to position himself. And that'll be a kill. Oh yeah. Beck, so the interruptions somehow always happen during the enemy's turn. Strange, isn't it? Good, we're going to revive. And we do have lightning reflexes. Opening the door. <laughs> Surprise. Guess who's here? Damn right, it's a me. 8-5 with a little surprise for you. Unfortunately, you can't really crit this, uh, this guy. Good, we still have a couple of potential targets for him. Let's put her into half cover because <clears throat> she does have a lot of hit points and he might want to shoot her. Move up, another shotgun. Still need to get his armor off. Good, Ranks moves in, <coughs> very much fortifies himself. We could burn him which would be fabulous. He is, he can burn, he can still act, but I think that's a better idea than shredding.
All right, down here, we can at least see him. Yeah, let's shred him and get a nice little hit in. No, still un in full cover. Chances are very low, so we're just going to overwatch instead. On it. We're going to drop down on him with a big fat shotgun hit next turn. <clears throat> Uh, that would not kill him, so no point in trying to do that. We're instead going to overwatch. Uh, the mech gets... Oh no, 8.5 is almost flanked. He just needs to go here and then would flank him. No, no, we're going to give him the 8 protocol. Yeah, overwatch here. I'll see what he does. It's his last turn, likely. I think this year could be a really good start. His overwatch will be cover, uh, countered by our lightning reflexes. Port charges up. Yep, lightning reflexes, my friend. And whilst we're at it, shotgun to your dirty face. Grace shot, hmm. He's finally burning. Cover removal. Well, I have something almost as good as cover removal. It's called shotgun to the back. slashing drops down comes right for him most of my targets never get a chance to shoot back no problem Moving up. Oh yeah, that was a fantastic hit. You just made my list. I hope it's worth it. And Divat is going to kill him with a soul fire. Big deal. You surprised me once again, Commander. Maybe I need to reconsider my tactics. Stand 
Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <coughs> I say we give people a break after taking down that chosen commander. We lost three of our uh, support staff here. I would like to assure the citizens of Pac-Man. I could have, well, moved them back, I suppose. One or uh, one or two of the losses were simply non-preventable. Dranks got a nice little upgrade. And I think I want Incinerator because the increased AOE size of uh, the Flamethrower might make a huge difference. Text with your gauntlet and fire set by the gauntlet weapons deal more damage. No, I think this is uh, the right way to go. We can still pick something else during part of the Grey, uh, Grey Knight, so doesn't really care about it. As for our Dreadnought, by the name of Crusader, we do have Adaptive Aim, which I value highly for Multishot. Or the defense, including armor when in Overwatch. If we go down the Overwatch route. That would take uh, would mean two shots. Hmm. But I also like adaptive aim. Shredder is good. Might be the right thing. Adaptive aim into Shredder, into Hollow Target, into Sentinel. Although I will be missing Repair. Repair is really good. But I, I could theoretically have that on two of uh, these guys. Uh, or the other one, uh, say one is a repair board and one is uh, the overwatcher. Then cool under pressure together with Sentinel would be great. Damage control. And then Hunter Protocol. Hunter Protocol is fantastic. Now the question of the day is do we want uh, 15 defense, which is really good. And an armor point just to prevent uh, Overwatch from being removed that often, or do we rather want uh, the Overdrive? Adaptive Aim. Good question. Mm. I think with this, this and this, we already got quite a bit of value. This, this, and this, we already got quite a bit of value out of uh, the overwatches. I want normal shots to hit as well. So adaptive aim it is. And Divad is ready for another training session, which is fantastic because we're almost done with a training. As you can appreciate, we also got some corpses out of uh, that and um, only lost only quote unquote lost three here. Had to expect you'd at least win a few of these little battles. The elders wouldn't have wasted this much time if you were completely inept. Voice for sector two, Australia. Good, continuing here. Divat could take few I like fuse because it's a free action and I'm a big sucker for action economy face walk is a teleportation also super good solace also very good they all do have really really good abilities What I'm noticing is we're training them fast, faster than we're uh, creating experience for them. Which means let's slow that down just a little bit, increase the research uh, here for advanced magnetic weapons. I also want to make sure that we're not falling behind on the, on the research. Good, got another gunner finally. 
and if my memory serves me well we had the option for another recruit right right okay we'll do that in a second um, for now Hayward comes in with uh, the beautiful brown that only a gunner can bring to the table. He has combat awareness, thank you. And we'll equip you with a decent weapon. Let's hope we get magnetic weapons soon. Soon the bombs are upgraded as well, so that's good. And we got hazmat vests even better. So level two bonds for for our prime team. Shaming Shu, that is strength. So let's do that. Which, if I look at SWAT management, means yep. You guys are on bond training for six days. That is fine. Just upgrading all of the bonds. How much longer can you hack? Oh, easy. And... Yeah, we're, we're going to hack a little bit longer, that's fine. In terms of additional recruits, no one is hiding anywhere, that's great. No, we're fine. Let's continue. This is prevention of a data leak and... That's a good option to boost the infiltration. We're getting minus four intel on that, but we're preventing the data leak. So I think that still is worth it. <coughs> Not great, but it's okay. Good, we're going to continue right here the next time. For now it's uh, time to say goodbye, thank you for watching guys and have a great evening. See you the next time and if as always if you like the content leave a comment and a like down below. Bye bye.